Hi guys, Dr. Austin here in Versailles State Park, Indiana. This little session uh, has to do with um, a certain fungus called false turkey tail. So this particular fungus mimics a, a turkey tail, um, but it can be differentiated in that it does not grow in rosettes and has kind of a thin parchment um, feel to it, particularly when dry and the pores on the undersurface are uh, almost imperceptible. Latin name Sterium austria. Uh, and this can be differentiated from the um, turkey tail fungus, which is uh, absolutely beautiful, tends to grow in uh, rosettes. Um, I'm on my way to show you a turkey tail fungus. And on the way here, we have um, uh, other fungus, which is, this is a... Um, related species, um, probably Tramedes hirsuta. Um, and you can see the, the name because of its hair-like projections on the undersurface. Um, so the false turkey tail has some additional properties uh, in regards to antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial. But the, uh, the most sought after species uh, of the Tramedes and related uh, species is the actual turkey tail fungus. Tramedes versicolor, also called Tramedes coriolis. Absolutely beautiful species, grows in the rosettes. Uh, very strong antiviral properties, uh, very good for the flu. What, um, it's a good idea to harvest these. You can make a um, tea from these by drying them and then boiling for 12 to 60 hours. And then you can freeze your tea to use it later. I would recommend this. Put up a store of it in your freezer, and then if you get the flu, drink that, and uh, you won't regret it. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Uh, thank you, guys. Again, this is Dr. Austin. Bye-bye. Uh,